Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's what you want. Your pie to look nice. Hey guys, today I'm making lemon meringue pie. I have all of my ingredients here. Lemons, eggs, butter. There's three things that go into this pie. The crust filling, the lemon filling, and then the meringue that goes on the top. Never made this before. I don't even think I've ever made a pie or meringue. I don't think so. It's all gonna be new for everyone if you've never made this before. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. The first thing I need to do is I need to make the pie crust. So I have a cookbook out here that I use all the time for everything. I think my grandma got it for me when I turned like 18. Cute. First things first, I am making the pastry crust, pastry crust for the pie. So I need a big bowl. This is what I'm gonna mix my pie pastry in. I'm gonna roll it out on here and then put it in my baking sheet. How much flour? One and a half cups all purpose flour. Hmm. That doesn't fit. That's what she said. One and a half cups. Oh, oh no, I'm losing my grip. One and a half, one and a half cups flour. So just like a pinch of salt. Salt always has to go on sweet things because salt makes sweet things sweeter for some reason. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now I need to put in the butter. The thing with uh, pie crusts specifically is that you need to use cold butter and cold water and then uh, mix it up in the flour until you get like a crumbly texture. So this is a cold block of butter. I need half a cup. I don't know if everyone knows this, but there's like measuring things. So you can just cut and then you know exactly how much butter you're using because they have it all measured out for you because people of the butter company are so nice. Okay, so this is half a cup of butter. Okay, so, oh, ah, f Put that in, fold that over. Maybe I'll put a little nice seal on that so it's, so now I'm gonna have to cut up the butter until it gets crumbly. So it says I need a pastry thing and I don't have that. So I'm gonna use a big fork. We're gonna try this, see what happens. Hmm, I didn't, it's not really working. Okay, maybe if I just chunk it up a little bit. Stab it a bunch. It's actually working a little bit. You just have to stab it with a fork until it gets into smaller pieces. Yeah, there we go. That's better. The butter has to be like um, pea-sized pieces in the flour mixture. That's what we're trying to do here. Oh my God, this is an arm workout. I'm gonna move this knife. Ugh, mash it up. I can see how the pastry cutter would be very helpful. Maybe I'll buy one off Amazon. Like this. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. See all of this is just, you don't give up because eventually you'll get where you're going. And I'm getting where I wanna go with this. I love lemon meringue pie, I'm so excited for this. Both of my grandmas used to make lemon meringue pie. Well, used to, they both still make lemon meringue pie. I just, it was always like a summer, like yummy dessert. Mm. Wine break. I forgot to turn on the oven. Preheat oven to 450. This pie crust is actually gonna cook before we put the meringue and the filling in, so it's gonna be pre-cooked. Um, it, it just allows it to get really nice and crispy. Okay, and this is going well, smashing this up. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. See, there's like, the pieces are smaller. I think this, that's what we want. Big fork worked. I think that's really just an ode to uh, ways that you can use different things in your kitchen when you don't have stuff. So you don't need to have a drawers full of shit all the time and you're like, I haven't used this in six years. What is this supposed to do? Wow. Okay, so now we have to add ice cold water. So you're using cold butter and ice cold water and a tablespoon at a time. We're adding it um, to the dough and so it can form into a mound that we're able to roll out. I put my water in the fridge so that's ice, ice, ice cold. It says it calls for a third of a cup of water. Okay, that's a third of a cup. A tablespoon of cup of water in at a time. 
and just mix it around with the fork again so that it gets all nice and mushy. I want this pie crust to be like really not super dense. I don't want soggy. Oh, okay. One more tablespoon. Okay, it's forming a little bit. It's like slowly creating a dough-like consistency, which is what you want. Oh my God, my arm. Okay, I'm gonna just pour the rest in. I might need a little bit more water than what was in there, but we'll just go with it. And I'm gonna get in there with my hands. <laughs> it's underneath my fingernails. Ew. It smells like dough. Yuck. Grody. This is the first time I've ever made pie crust. This is an exciting day, guys. I try not to tuck my hair behind my ear because it looks better when I don't, but it's really hard. This is also the first time I've worn my hair down and done it in like probably weeks. I think I went too far with the flour or the water. It's feeling a little stickier than it should. I didn't give enough time, so I'm gonna add a little bit more flour to it just because I feel like it's kind of uh, a little bit too wet. Yeah, just like that much. There we go, that's better. Okay, that's our pastry dough ball. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll this around, get that all nicely floured, get my rolling pin out to roll it onto a pie size. The pastry is pretty like, it's gonna be really easy to roll out. I think I wanna roll it out like fairly, fairly thin. Hey, this is rolling out super easy. Oh my God, dog hair. It's dog hair. Oops, that's why you have to have everything nicely floured. It's gonna take some warm butter and butter the pie tin or pie glass so that nothing sticks. Just take a little paper towel and rub some butter all over it. Perfect. <laughs> Feeling very sassy today in my red lipstick and, and cheetah print shirt. Yeah, you cool, Catherine, get sassy. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and just bring that over here and then like slowly. Yeah, professional, professional pie maker. Not really, okay. I'm just gonna press this down in. <gasps> I'm so excited to have a meringue pie. Okay, just nicely get this in. Like you love it because you want your pies to have love in them. I feel like if anything you're making, it's your pies that should have love in them. Cut the excess off of this around. So now I want to make like a nice pretty border around this pie, but I'm not really sure what, like how I should do it. Maybe if I go like this. No, that looks like dog crap. Oh no. Okay, how am I gonna make this look nice? Hmm, maybe I go like this. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I'm just like pinching it along. Maybe I'll just do this. I'll just pinch it. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's not the best I've ever seen, but what can you do? Okay, so I've pinched it all around, but I'm also, I think I'm gonna take a fork and do like in between the pinches a little. Yeah, that's perfect. So to bake this, I'm just gonna poke a couple little holes in the bottom like that, which will allow the moisture to escape. And then I'm actually gonna put a piece of tin foil over it. We bought Costco tin foil and we haven't opened them yet. Just actually gonna put it a little bit out over the. Okay, so this goes in for six minutes, then you take the foil off, then eight minutes. So I'm gonna put it in. Now time to clean up. So I've got my pie. It did puff up a little bit, but I'm not super worried about that. It's just got a lot of air in it right now. So as it cools down, the air will cool out. But it looked like the texture was, it looks good. So I think, I think that part's a success. I'm just gonna move it over here to cool while we make the filling. Feel like a regular old housewife today, just baking pies. So now I'm gonna make the lemon filling. Lemons, egg yolks, sugar. First, I gotta juice all these lemons. I need to get three. <coughs> I need three quarters of a cup of lemon juice to go in this filling, so I'm not sure exactly how much. Whoa. That is like literally the most perfect lemon I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. Juice these. This is another arm workout. Get those gains. And then eat your pie and lose them all. But that's okay. You can have your pie and eat it too. Okay, three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. So that was four lemons. That equaled three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. Um, I'm gonna zest a little bit of lemon in here to get more of a fresh lemon tartness taste. So I'm just gonna 
Whoa, this is, I just got this, it's really sharp. Oh, probably be pretty good to get rid of your fingerprints if you ever needed to do that. Might have an injury on this one, I don't know. Oh, it smells like delicious fresh lemon though. Mmm, yummy. That's probably enough. The lemon flavor in the peel is like super concentrated, so you don't want a whole lot, but enough to really give it that like kick. Give that kick. Okay, so I've got my lemon juice, my lemon juice and my lemon peel ready. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate all these eggs. We're gonna use the egg whites for the meringue and egg yolks for the filling. So I'll get out two bowls, one for egg whites and one for egg yolks. So you just separate them. You can do them really easily in the shell like this. Make sure you get all, like as much of the um, egg white out as possible. The egg yolks are what make things like really nice and creamy. And the egg whites are what uh, make recipes really um, nice and fluffy. So you don't really want them intermingling when they do two completely different things in a recipe. So you just, it's pretty easy. You just, I just go back and forth like this with the shell. A lot of people do it, like you can do it in your hands. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. Bunch of different ways to crack an egg, as they say, or skin a cat, that's what it is. Bunch of different ways to skin a cat. You need five eggs for this recipe. So five egg whites and five egg yolks. Now I'm gonna have to make the lemon filling in a, in a saucepan because you have to cook it with the sugar and cornstarch and egg yolks and lemon. Half a cup of cornstarch in here. Cornstarch is a thickener, so it's what's gonna allow the uh, filling in the lemon meringue pie to um, thicken up so that you can cut through it and it's not gonna be runny. I mean, hopefully, mine could be runny as shit. Who knows? Two cups of sugar, seems like a lot. Mm. It's definitely not a diet recipe, that's for sure. Holy, oh my, sh my sugar's hard. That's embarrassing. The so one cup, seems like a lot of sugar. Two cups. So that was half a cup of cornstarch, two cups of sugar. I'm just gonna mix it so the sugar and the cornstarch kind of combine and get all amalgamated and, oh no, I'm spilling it. Amalgamated and together. Looks like cocaine. <laughs> so I'm putting in the um, lemon juice and the lemon peel that I've decided to use. And I need uh, one cup of water. So now I'm gonna move uh, this saucepan that has the cornstarch, sugar, water, and the lemon juice and lemon peel mixture. And I'm gonna bring it to a, um, uh, just like a rolling bubble. And then we're gonna move it and put the egg yolks in. I need a third of a cup of butter to add to the filling with the egg yolk. I'm just cutting that up in chunks now. Oh, that went real quick. <laughs> okay, that literally went from zero to 100. It like, it was liquid and now it's like real thick. Okay, so now I'm going to pour half of it into the egg yolk mixture in there and just mix that all around. And that's what's gonna, well one, it's gonna make a really nice color and then also make it more of like a, that nice custardy. Mm. Okay, so put that there. So then I pour this back, mix that up. Oh yeah, it's a really nice yellow color. It's pretty fucking thick too. That literally went from like a full liquid to like straight up jelly in like a minute. So I'm gonna move this back over to the stove, cook for like two more minutes, take it off, and then that this is good to go. So now that this is all cooked and nice, so this is like, it's definitely jelly-like because of the cornstarch and a nice color and it, oh, it's very lemony. Oh, it smells good, it smells like that. Just put in these cubes of butter and slowly melt them in. That was a lot of it. So I'm just gonna melt this butter by slowly stirring. This is taking a while. Nice, okay. This is just gonna take its sweet ass time. Let's just put the rest in because it's just gonna take a little bit. Get these all mixed up. This butter's getting mixed up in some nasty business. Nasty business called pie. 3.14. Okay, the butter's getting melted and that made it like a really nice like creamy Texture, set this aside. So that's gonna just cool down a little bit, um, but we want it warm. But now for the fun part, we're gonna make some meringue. If you've never made meringue before, which I haven't, but I know the basic idea of what it is. So you have your egg whites. Make sure that your bowl 
and what you're mixing the meringue with, which you should use something like this. Um, you want something with a lot of t uh, tongs like this, but make sure your bowl and that is super, super clean because egg whites are pretty, or meringue is pretty finicky, so like it doesn't like other things in the bowl. Um, and also you want your egg whites to be at room temperature. So just like let them sit out, which I did when I um, cracked them just so that they can get a little warmer. One teaspoon of vanilla in here, just for flavor. And half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. If you've never used uh, cream of tartar before, it is kind of like, like a leavening agency, I feel like. It's kind of like baking powder, where it allows it to bake really nicely. It's available in like the spice section where you would get like your uh, dried basil and stuff. That's where you'll find it in your grocery store. Half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. It's half a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna get half a cup of sugar ready, um, but we're gonna add that slowly. Okay, that's half a cup. Now we put this down, lock it up, and we're gonna get this going, and we're gonna add this sugar a little bit at a time until the meringue gets glossy, stiff peak. So when it happens, I'll show you. We're gonna, we want to like really, yeah, fast. Faster, faster, like that. A little bit of sugar. A little bit more sugar. <gasps> it's going, just see it's fluffing up. A little bit more. <gasps> more, more, more. Oh my God. Look at that. <gasps> A little bit more. That went really quickly. Oh, it's getting glossy. Okay, let's see where we're at. Are we at stiff peaks yet? I'd say that's stiff peaks. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Glossy and stiff meringue. Tastes like marshmallows. Oh my God, I could just eat a bowl of that. Mm. Now for the final section. So we have our baked pie crust. And we're gonna pour this mixture in. Let's give it a stir. This is our lemon mixture. So we're gonna pour this in the pie. Look at that. <gasps> Yummy. Then we're gonna get the meringue on here. So we're gonna get one of these, spatula. The thing with the meringue and the filling is that you actually want the filling to be warm when you put the meringue over it because if it's cool and then it cooks, you'll get like a watery line in between the meringue and the filling and that's not what you want. So you wanna make sure that the meringue is going onto a warm surface and that you seal the meringue around the edge of the pie. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna plop this on. <laughs> what a nightmare. Reminds me of like Willy Wonka or something. That's a lot of fucking meringue. Oh my God. Mmm. So push it out and like seal it. Wow. Oh my God. What? Okay, so I'm pushing it to the uh, the sides, to the pie crust, which I think I did all around. And then I'm just gonna go like this to get some nice peaks. Yeah, there we go. Get some nice peaks in here. That's a shit ton of meringue, guys. Okay, I think it's oven time. Is it oven time? It's oven time. I have my oven set at 325, where this bad boy is gonna go for half an hour. And now we wait. Oh, Lordy. Look at that. Oh, look it. Ooh. It's got such nice browning. And it's crispy, but I can still, still tell it's like fluffy on the inside. Mm, this is gonna be so good. Now we have to let it cool for an hour and then chill for a couple hours so I don't get to eat it right now. But we're gonna come back and I'm gonna take a little taste. Okay, well, this has sat and it's chilled for a bit. Now is the final reveal. I'm gonna cut it. The big reveal. Oh. I cut through the meringue very easily. Okay, second cut. Ooh. Scoop it out. Ooh! There's definitely a lot more meringue to the lemon part. And I think I should have maybe chilled it a little bit longer, but that's okay. We'll take a bite and see how it tastes.
Oh no. I'm just gonna fucking give up. The pie crust is too tough. I can't get through it. I don't understand. Okay, let me bite it. Pie crust is a little tough. I will say that. But the actual pie tastes very good. The lemon part, it's a perfect combination of like tart and sweet. And the meringue adds some sweetness to it as well. It's very good. I'd say aside from the pie crust, it's a success. I don't really know where I went wrong with the pie crust, but maybe I needed it too much. Hmm, it's pretty good. We'll say lemon meringue pie, not too bad. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. But if you wanna see more videos, subscribe to my cooking channel, like my videos, press the bell so that you get notified, and that's it.